good evening everyone uh, you are uh, welcome to ndt and quality youtube channel i am uh, vijay nakrani today i am presenting a topic type of corrosion uh, this topic is very important for those who are preparing for ndt level 3 basic exam uh, there is a common uh, one two question from at least one two question from this section so uh, for those who are preparing for ndt level 3 basic exam uh this is very important video for them and uh, uh others uh, uh this is very important to know about the corrosion uh, types uh see there are so many type of corrosions but i have covered some basic uh, types of corrosion uh, for only uh, level 3 basic exam students only uh, so uh, uh, let's uh get into the topic see uh, corrosion is basically cl uh, classified uh, according to these uh, three uh, uh, points uh, first one is material what type of materials uh, then second uh, uh, what kind of environment it is and uh, what is the for morphology uh, and mo morphology of corrosion damage Uh, of that particular uh, material or sections uh, uh, let us see one by one uh, first one is uh, general corrosion see this is a very common type of uh, corrosion uh, and this is uh, also known as general attack or uniform corrosion uh, you might have seen this kind of uh, uh, corrosion in uh, daily life like uh, chain uh, which is rusted or corroded uh, see there is a general type of corrosion this is uniformly everywhere corrosion is present and uh, this is because of uh, chemical or electrochemical reactions uh, of uh, metal and uh, uh, surrounding environment uh, this deteriorates the entire exposed surface of the metal and it is the easiest to recognize as the entire surface of the metal shows a uniform sponge like appearance see if you uh, look at this micro level then you, you you can get the sponge like appearance okay uh, now uh, there are three type of uh, local corrosion uh, uh, first one is pitting crevice and feliform if uh, Uh, anyone ask about type of local corrosion then these are basic three types pitting uh, crevice and feliform so what is the pitting pitting is also a common uh, it results when a small hole or cavity forms in the metal uh, usually as a result of deep passivation of a small area this type of corrosion is very difficult to detect because it is present only in limited area uh, which can le uh, lead to failure of material uh, see general corrosion uh, is a uniform but pitting is localized so uh, it is easy to uh, visualize and identify pitting uh, by visual testing only uh, but uh, when it is not uh, accessible um, Uh, in uh, uh, or it is uh, opposite side of the material uh, bottom side of the material then it will be uh, uh, very hard to detect uh, the initial stages of pitting then uh, uh, crevice corrosion see this is uh, also a common question uh, in uh, level 3 exam uh, Uh, it is related to crevice corrosion see you will have to catch some uh, points uh, like uh, uh, if a uh, question is asked about uh, corrosion and uh, mention gasket or seals then it is a very high probability to have answer like crevice crevice question crevice uh, corrosion uh, so let us see what is crevice corrosion is another another type of localized corrosion that occurs in confined spaces where the access of working fluid from environment is limited crevice corrosion occurs under gasket or seal inside cracks 
and seams or in spaces filled with deposit and under a sponge pile see this is a crevice corrosion uh, whenever you heard crevice corrosion you must remember gasket or seals uh, mostly uh, these words will uh, give you answer about the uh, corrosions see here are the gaskets okay uh, next one is a uh, uh, feliform corrosion uh, whenever you uh, get this word feliform then you uh, will relate it to paint uh, feliform corrosion is usually under a painted or plated surface when water breaches the coating feliform corrosion begins at a small distance in the co uh, coating and spreads to uh cause structural weakness see this is the uh, feliform corrosion under this paint whenever uh, water breaches and uh, goes under the painted surface then uh, it is spread like this like a worm is uh, moving under a paint painted surface like, like this here yeah. so this is a type of corrosion and then uh, galvanic galvanic corrosion very easy to identify galvanic corrosion uh, and uh, in the uh, exam point of view if question uh, ask about uh, uh, electrochemically dissimilar metals it means uh, there is a cathode and there is a anode then your answer will lead to the uh galvanic corrosion uh, type uh, this occurs only uh, when two electrochemically dissimilar metals are in contact in an electrolyte solution and one metal become the anode while another becomes the cathode see uh, one metal becomes a anode and uh, this is a cathode and this is uh, anode while another becomes cathode cathode cor corrodes Uh, slowly while the anode or sacrificing uh, material corrodes very faster see this fastener is getting corroded and uh, this is uh, cathode while this is anode see here uh, fastener and bolt next one is um, flow assisted uh, corrosion Uh, or flow accelerated corrosion uh, this occurs when the protective layer of uh, uh, of uh, oxide uh, on the, the metal surface is dissolved or uh, removed by wind or water or kind of uh, flow exposing the underlying metal see uh, there is a oxide coating over here but it is uh, it's been removed by wind or water or uh, any other flow uh, exposing the underlying metal to further corrosion and deterioration this is called as flow assisted corrosion then uh, next one is erosion uh, corrosion uh, erosion corrosion uh, is related to the relative movement between corrosive fluid and metal surface when there is a uh, movement between uh, corrosive fluid and metal surface it uh, accelerates uh, the corrosion and uh, is known as erosion corrosion uh, is an accelerated or increased rate of deterioration or attack on a metal because of relative motion resulting from the combination of mechanical and chemical wear see this is both uh, combination of uh, mechanical as well as chemical uh, wear see Uh, mechanical when uh, this is in the rotating part and chemical wear means uh, when there is a, a chemical solutions or uh, chemical materials uh, uh, getting uh, passing from uh, these parts like here okay so next one is uh, fretting corrosion uh, fretting corrosion uh, will uh, indicate the corrosion in uh, uh, gear part or uh, rotational parts um, like a bearing uh, 
So uh, whenever you get uh, for, uh, fretting corrosion, then uh, relate this word with uh, gear or rotational parts like uh, uh, this bearing occurs as a result of repeated wearing uh, and uh, weight and or vibration on uneven rough surface. Uh, fretting corrosion is often found in rotation and impact machinery, bolted assembly and bearing as well as on surface exposed to vibration during transportation. Then uh, intergranular corrosion. See, uh, this is a microstructure level uh, uh, photography. Uh, it occurs as a result of localized attack or nearer to the grain boundaries. See, uh, here you can see the intergranular corrosion. Uh, in a metal all, uh, uh, alloy, impurities and precipitation at grain boundary along with depletion of uh, alloying element in the grain boundary area are the main factor contributing to intergranular corrosion. So mostly because of impurities and uh, precipitation at a grain boundary leads to the intergranular corrosion. Uh, then another one is uh, uh, de-alloying or selective leaching. Whenever uh, you get an example of uh, brass containing copper or uh, uh, copper and zinc or two different uh, uh, metals, uh, it uh, might lead to your answer like de-alloying or selective leaching. It refers to selective dissolution of active metal phase from an alloy in corrosive and, uh, environment brass containing uh, copper and zinc is one of the such example of material being anodic or uh, copper desintification in a corrosive medium see this is uh, metal one uh, there are two different metals over here and uh, this is uh, de alloying or selective leaching uh, corrosion here yeah. okay uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like this video, please uh, comment and uh, uh, if you have any question queries, you can uh, put it in your in this uh, comment box and uh, uh, if you want more videos, please uh, suggest us uh, what kind of video you want to uh, watch uh, uh, regarding entity and uh, quality. Thank you.